Shields up, Ironbreakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another video. Welcome back to Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And today, I'm going to be bringing you my Clutch Claw Guide. Now, I know that we're still only in the beta stage of the game, and I am recording this in the beta version of the game, but there's no indication that the Clutch Claw is going to receive significant changes to its moveset. So I figured this would be a good time to show you guys the basics of what you can actually achieve with the Clutch Claw so that you can bring that knowledge with you when you actually reach retail, and you'll also be able Able to apply this knowledge if you are still tr struggling to get Velcana down because I've seen in my comment section that a lot of people still don't know exactly how to do the different moves that you can do with the clutch claw at this point so hopefully this will help you guys to figure that stuff out now the very first thing that I got to tell you is whether you're in the beta or in the final version of the game if you want to learn how to use the clutch claw you want to come into the training area because that is going to be the easiest environment for you to actually learn the different moves that you can do with the clutch claw and when you get here again, you guys are going to be like, well, Rurikon, all I have here is the training pillar and I can't even grapple onto it. Like, what am I supposed to do? I can't really practice the clutch claw like this. You're right. But there is a change in the training area once you get Iceborne or even during the beta where you can talk to the housekeeper and you can ask him, dude, change the objects in the area, please. And he is going to change the layout of the area and he is going to bring in uh, a bunch of barrels strapped together that are supposed to simulate a monster, which you guys can see right here. Now, whenever you go to a monster, there's going to be several body parts that you can get to. Now, in this particular example, they're only going to give us two. So you got the body. And you got the head, as you guys can see. Now, all of the things that influence the movement of the monster are going to need to be done in the head. Everything else you can do wherever the hell you want. So in order to grapple to the monster, it should be fairly easy. You press L2, and then you press the circle button, and you're going to grab, grab onto the monster. Now, this is with your weapon sheathed. Weapon unsheathed, it's going to be different. Now, most weapons, when you unsheathe them, you'll still be able to aim with L2 and then grapple using uh, the same mo movement. However, with some weapons, specifically like the insect glaive over here, you're going to have to swap into slinger mode, which is one of the reasons why I chose the insect glaive. So I believe that the weapons you have to swap into slinger mode are going to be uh, the insect glaive, the um, the lance, which the lance has some very specific mechanics with the clutch claw, but it's the insect glaive, all of the ranged weapons, so the bow, the heavy bow gun, pretty much mostly weapons that have like a feature around aiming uh, stuff with that weapon. Because as you guys know, with the um, with the insect glaive, you're supposed to aim for your kinsect so that you send your kinsect out. Uh, but anyway, if you press R3, you go into slinger mode, even with your weapon drawn out, and at that point, you can resume grappling onto it just like any other weapon, right? So keep that in mind. That is how you basically grapple onto the monster. So after you grapple onto the monster, though, you'll notice that you have a couple of options. If you look to the top uh, right-hand side, weapon attack, claw attack, flinch shot, move. And I'm sorry I had to drop off there so that I wouldn't get a stamina penalty. Weapon attack, claw attack, flinch shot, move, and drop down. So we're going to drop down again so that it, we don't expend all of our stamina. Notice that whenever you grapple onto the monster, your stamina is going to be reducing. Most likely, uh, depending on the gear that you are using, yours is going to be reducing even faster because right now I have cliffhanger, which is giving me 50% less, um, less stamina reduction whenever I'm grabbed onto it. So, you know, a regular weapon, you're going to lose a lot more stamina if you're not using the uh, cliffhanger skill, which is one of the reasons why I'm going to be using the crap out of cliffhanger. But anyway, so you can grapple onto that. After you grab onto it, you can move to a different section of the body. You can come to the head, and in the head is where you're going to do the really important stuff. Now, let's look at the first thing that you can do uh, after you grab onto it. The very most basic one is you can basically attack that body part of the monster. You get like a cool attack. It'll hit the monster and mess him up. And in the case of the insect clave, it's going to drop some slinger ammo. Now, the slinger ammo for the insect clave is very useful because you can feed it to your kinsect in order to become more powerful and stuff like that. Different weapons are going to have different effects. So like the great sword, for instance, is just going to weaken that body part of the monster. Then you guys are like, well, does that mean if I have an insect clave, I can't weaken the monster? Yes, you can. You basically do the same attack twice and this part should appear as weak. Unfortunately, it looks like they don't really show... Oh, yeah. They do tell you that the spot has been weakened, but they don't show you the proper markings. In the actual monster, you'll see, like, white stripes in the spot that you attacked, indicating that that spot is weak. But basically, that spot right there is actually weakened right now, even though you can't really see it. But 
any weapon that doesn't instantly weaken the spot, you do two attacks and it will weaken the spot. And what does that mean, weakening the spot? You guys are like, what's, what's that? Well, that increases the amount of damage that you deal on that spot. Unfortunately, in the training area, I just realized that you can't really see the difference between when you attack a regular spot and a weakened spot, but trust me, you're gonna deal more damage. As a matter of fact, the damage number even changes. It's got this, these arrows pointing inwards, indicating that you are attacking a weakened spot, and you're gonna deal more damage, and certain skills actually take advantage of that, like right now, the, the current iteration of weakness exploit will increase your affinity up to 50%, only if the spot is weakened, otherwise it only increases the affinity by 30%. So weakening spots is very important, as well as being able to get ammo from monsters for certain weapons is also extremely important. So that is how you go about uh, grabbing on and attacking. It's fairly simple, you grapple on, and then after you grapple on, you press the triangle attack, you deal your damage, and then your character jumps out. Sometimes ammo pops out, sometimes it doesn't, depending on the state of the monster. And now guys are like, okay, so get to the good part. Make the monster move into a wall. Very well. So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab onto it. Make sure that the monster is facing a wall. He's not facing a wall right now, though. And you guys are like, okay, so what are you going to do if he's not facing a wall? Well, there is a move, which is the clutch attack that allows you to change the direction that the monster is facing. So for instance, we're going to change the direction the monster is facing into this wall. The way it works is whenever you slap the monster, he's going to turn 90 degrees in the opposite direction that you slapped him from. So, if I go here and I slap him from this side, from his right side, he's going to turn 90 degrees to the left as a direct reaction for you slapping him, okay? And you're going to slap him with the claw by pressing the circle button. So, I'm going to come up here, slap him, bam. He's going to turn 90 degrees in that direction. And at this point, the monster is ready to be moved directly into that wall. Usually you do this in uh, one single movement, right? You go in there, you slap him, and then you unload all of the ammunition in your slinger into the monster's face, and that is going to just get him to run into the wall. So now he's facing the wall. I'm going to jump up in there again. Fire. Into the wall he goes, he takes the damage, and he will fall over. These barrels are not going to fall over, but the actual monster will fall over if you happen to do that. And that's pretty much how it works with the Clutch Claw. It's going to vary depending on the weapon that you have, uh, because some weapons have different ways of getting into that state, which is one, another one of the reasons why I chose to use the uh, Insect Glaive in this particular tutorial. Thank you very much, Handler. I know that this is going to work as Slinger ammo. Um, but anyway, now let me show you what it looks like in a quick movement. This is going to be a lot more hectic when you're fighting an actual monster, but you need to understand the basics of it. So basically, you aim for the head. You're going to slap him once. He's facing the wall. Unload. Bam. He's going to ram into the wall. Going to take the damage. He's going to fall over to the side. And now you guys are like, oh, okay, but maybe I don't have Slinger Ammo available. You're going to have to start paying much more attention for Slinger Ammo. Slinger Ammo is super important in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Always make sure that you have something on your Slinger just in case you need to slam the monster into a wall. And now you guys are like, well, that was pretty easy because the monster was like 90 degrees away from slamming into that wall. Well, you can slap him multiple times. So let's make him face, for instance, in this direction, right? And, like I said, you can slap him multiple times. So say, for instance, this was not enough This I think this might be enough distance for him to slam into that wall in front of us. But let's say that was like a clear, open field ahead of us, right? And you're like, well, if I shoot him there, he's not really going to go up against the wall. What you got to do is you got to rotate him multiple times. So you go like this, and again, and then you fire, and there he goes into the wall again. It always works unless... The monster is enraged, which is going to be something that's going to be very frustrating and it will happen to you from time to time, which is you're going to jump onto a monster and you're like, okay, I just got to turn him once. And the second you jump onto him, or maybe you need to turn him twice, whatever, you slap him and I'll imagine I slap him again and he wouldn't turn. That means it's enraged and you're, you're better off getting the hell out of there because when he's enraged, you're not going to be able to slap him and move him around however you want, you know, you're going to have to actually... 
uh, fight him normally until he becomes unenraged or whatever, until he be- goes into his normal state. And after that, you can resume guiding him into walls and stuff like that. Now, like I told you, there's several ways of doing clutch claw attacks depending on the weapon that you have. And that one of the reasons that I brought the insect glaive is to show you a different one. So in the case of the insect glaive, let's say you don't want to aim because, oh, dude, but I'm in the middle of the air. I'm doing all of my stuff. Let me just grab red buff here real quick. You're like, oh, but I'm in the middle of the air. I'm doing all of my aerial attacks and all of this stuff. Ain't nobody got time to go down to the ground, but I need to grab him. Well, while you're in the air with the insect glaive, you're able to just press L2 and your character will just grab on. Just like if it was a clutch claw attack. And you can do this in between your regular attacks. So like you'll do that jump and then uh, L2. I actually missed it there. But you can be doing your regular attacks, right? Yay, jump in there, and again. And now it's like, time to grab on. L2, and you can grab on. Now, I say that I say this is important because different weapons are going to have different ways of doing this. Like, the um, lance has a guard counter, which if a monster attacks you while you are guarding, you're able to counter that attack and clutch onto the monster. And there's more stuff like that. Like, the um, sword and shield has the claw you can move, that allows you to also jump up into the air with a clutch claw and grab on. So study your weapons moveset and learn the different ways in which you can grab onto monsters because trust me when I tell you the clutch claw is going to be extremely important in Iceborne. So learn how to do this. Practice it in the training area and then go apply it on the monsters. As a matter of fact, this is one of the best ways of dealing with Velcana right now because you can ram her into walls uh, pretty easily so long as she's not enraged. So, you know, good luck with that. Hopefully this guide was useful to you. Let me know in the comment section down below what else you want to see uh, for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. What weapons are you excited about? What stuff do you want me to cover first? And I'll try to give priority to that once the retail game comes out. But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, if it helped you out, hit the like button because it really, really helps me out. Like, guys have no idea. I know that I say it all, all the time, but it really helps out break through the YouTube algorithm. Or dislike it if you didn't like it because at the end of the day, feedback is super important for me and I appreciate that. Comments, feedback, comment section down below. Subscribe if you enjoy my content. Hit the bell notification icon. All the usual spiel. Stay strong, may your shields never break, and go clutch some monsters.